Hi, this is Quant Namad. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you in details how you can create crypto trading bot uh, based on trading you indicator. Uh, so here I have, for example, a very simple um, trading indicator. This is RSI and I have long signal when RSI go kind of cross over uh, RSI lower level and it has short signal when prior RSI cross under RSI upper level. So it's very, very simple and uh, it's important that you have a study and um, you need to have kind of custom alerts. So of course you can create alerts from kind of as a, as a simple alerts, but to have custom alerts, it's much, much more handy. So let's try now to create a bot for this indicator. Now let's go to three commas and um, in three commas, you can go to my bots and after that, just press create the bot. So first of all, you need to specify your uh, bot name. So let's say I will say that this is um, a RSI long bot. So uh, next, you need to select your exchange. Uh, so first of all, you need to uh, kind of assign your exchange to three commas. And after that, you will be able to select it here. So I already did this for my Binance account and I can select it. Here you can specify what uh, type of bot do you want to create? Do you want a simple or composite bot? So for simple bot, you can trade only one pair at a time, but for composite bot, you can trade multiple pairs. Um, next, you need to specify what pairs do you want to trade? I have a simple bot, so I will select only Ethereum Bitcoin pair. So next you need to select uh, what type of strategy uh, do you want? So do you want long or short strategy? And as you can see, you cannot uh, trade both sides at the same time in three commas. And it's not super handy. So if you have a strategy and if you go want to go like both long and short, so probably what you can do is you can create two trading bots, one long, one short and they will have kind of opposite signal when one bot enter position, another bot closes position. So I will select long bot for now. So next you can specify in what currency do you want to receive your profits. So you can select quote or base. So what it means is that, for example, for Bitcoin Ethereum pair, you can receive your profits in Bitcoins or in Ethereum. So it can be quite uh, interesting for you as well. So here you can specify just base order size for your position. And you can specify this in Bitcoin, Ethereum or percent of your Bitcoin uh, amount of your account. Next, you can specify here order size for your safety trades. So safety trades is a very interesting concept in uh, three commas. What it means is that when you have a trading signal, you enter to your kind of your base order, you, you kind of enter to your position. And after that, if for example, for long bot, a price continue to decline, every uh, certain number of percent of price decline, you will enter kind of to new position. You will uh, buy more, buy more and buy more. And this way kind of you will have kind of better entry price but I think this concept is questionable. Of course, you need to uh, kind of backtest it properly and able to be sure that this stuff works. I will uh, keep it uh, kind of as default and later I will just disable it. So uh, here you can specify what order type do you want. So do you want market order or limit order? I will keep market order as for simplicity. So next you need to specify kind of what way do you want to receive your signals? So uh, trading you custom signal is uh, one is interested for us, but also you can find here um, more interesting stuff. So for example, here you can see kind of trading you just trading you uh, signal and here you can select uh, time frame, for example, four hours. And here you can see that based on buy or strong buy of um, trade you can go long uh, here. And what does it actually mean? So if you go to a crypto screener in uh, trading you, so you can see that for every pair, you see here uh, oscillator rating. And this is kind of um, rating from 
a number of different oscillators and they all kind of vote um, um, does it kind of long short and is it buy or sell and if for example all indicators agree on something you will see here kind of strong buy or strong sell kind of sentiment of all, all oscillators so it can be quite um, useful. I'm not sure it works very well. I, I, I suggest that you need to backtest it or at least forward test it first to use it, but it's quite interesting. Also here you can find some uh, basic indicators, for example, like RSI with length of seven or um, ULT or here in TI presets, you can find a bit more indicators. So Blender Bands, uh, MFI, CCI, and stuff like that also you can find here a few kind of private um, signals so like cqs scalping uh, uh, qfl uh, the, this stuff head loop binance five and ten percent uh, you can use this stuff as well and also you can go to marketplace um, um, buy their signals from somebody and after that the signals will appear in your um, in your uh, um, selection and you can select it as well another interesting thing is that uh, you can create kind of multiple um, multiple conditions so you can select um, for example trading you and trading you custom signal if you want um, and um, to enter the position uh, both of these um, conditions should be satisfied so you can think of it as a kind of logical end so all conditions you create here should be satisfied to enter to your position so i will delete and i will leave only a tree new custom signal because this is only we are interested at the moment so next you can specify um, how do you want to take profit so you can specify uh, your target profit as uh, percent and also you can specify um, how do you want to compute your uh, profit target so you can specify from total volume or from base order only. So difference is only if you use um, safety trades, but I won't use them, so I don't actually care. I can select uh, base order. Also, you can enable uh, trailing uh, take profit. Uh, this is a kind of uh, stop loss, but it starts to work only after a uh, certain period. So it can be quite interesting for you as well. So here you can specify a um, basic stop loss, you can specify number of you know percents you want to um, to to have your stop stop loss at, and also you can specify what should be your stop loss action. You can just close the deal, or you can close the deal and stop your bot completely. And after that, you need to launch your bot again. Um, also, you can specify a stop loss timeout. So it's also quite interesting concept. For example, if you have um, just random spike in your data and just for one second, your price cross your stop loss and after it turns back. So probably you don't want to close your position. So probably you can specify here, I don't know, like um, let's say 60 seconds. So um, what do you want is that you want your price to be below stop loss for at least one minute before closing uh, your deal so it's actually quite useful so next you can see settings for safety orders and um, as i said i just don't want to use them so i will just simply put them to zero so um, next you can see here price deviation to open safety orders and um, you can see here like one percent so every time uh, price drops below kind of initial order um, price uh, by 1% you will have another order opened and you will buy a bit more Ethereum USD for example and I don't want to use it too much so I think that's all of important uh, settings so here on the right you can see here's like my uh, Bitcoin balance uh, you can see it here and here um, three commas will calculate what amount um, do, I, do I need to have on my account enabled to trade this bot I set up so it can be quite useful for you. As you can see that it's only kind of 9% of my balance. So I think that's fine. So now let's create this bot. 
and uh, you can see that bot was successfully saved and let's start it so here you can see uh, settings for the bot so this here are all settings I specified and the most important part is that here on the bottom you can find a bunch of different messages so uh, most important messages are to the top so first one is to start a deal and the second one is to close um, an order at market, pli uh, market price so it's quite uh, simple but you can find here another um, few other interesting things so you can have here messages to start the bot to stop the bot so potentially you can create uh, different alerts on your trading you and um, depend on different conditions on the market start and stop the, uh, the bot as well so it's very very useful you can do the, everything from uh, training you just specifying different kind of messages so now let's go and um, copy these messages and create alerts from it and uh, launch it so I copied uh, this message for a uh, deal start now let's go to uh, train you let's go to alerts let's create another alert and um, here you can select my uh, RSI indicator I will select a uh, once per bar close I will select RSI long so at long signal I want to go and buy some Ethereum um, next you need to select how do you want to send your alert I want to send it email to SMS and uh, it will ask you for email to SMS um, address so um, if you go to uh, three commas uh, support you can find uh, this um, um, email address and just copy it to uh, here and um, this actually this uh, email is the same for all three commas users but um, based on kind of other uh, bot IDs, email tokens, and stuff like that. Uh, three commas will understand um, uh, th this alerts coming from each user, so there won't be any problems. So um, just specify this uh, email to SMS address, and after that, in message, just copy entire message to um, to the message of your alerts, and just press create. And now you need to specify uh, the same alert to close or position so I will select RSI again so RSI short this time once per bar close um, let's go and create also send to SMS let's copy this email again um, okay it should be IO and let's save it again and um, I will go and copy my message to close uh, my position and well that's it uh, we created a bot uh, from um, from this indicator and every time you will have an alert this alert will be immediately sent to three commas and three commas will initiate an order based on your signal so I think that's all for this video um, thank you for watching see you